Yeah, to Insanity Go Brewer. This is a very, <laughs> very um, messy session, but um, also yeah. we have Xavier instead of Scrappy because Scrappy has something to do. Yeah, and we were just talking about random stuff earlier, so yeah, we're just kind of yellowing this. What are you talking about? It's me, Scrappy. This is how I always talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess to start this, uh, I don't know if I actually asked uh, Jason this either, but like, um, for both you and both both you two, like, what do you have any experiences with this game? No. You sent me the game. Oh, did I? I yeah, I have but, I, yeah but, the, but my controller, hey, but my controller is super messy, so I never got to, to finish it. I don't even remember that. I only remember sending you heroes. <laughs> You sent me Heroes, Twin Sanity, um, Le Lego, uh, two Lego games, I believe. No, three Lego games, because you also sent me, uh, Lego Theater cover. Oh, yeah, I do I've lost track of all the things. Oh, good. All the things I've sent you at this point. You off I also know you sent me two Azamanga Dio plushes. Did I? Oh yeah, it was I've a really sent you so much stuff. Oh, <laughs> fuck, what was the name? Paul girl. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and the funny thing is, with this, like, she had like the cat like biting her hand. Oh yeah, I have that one too. Um, oh my god. Well, you sent me the goose, which Gizmo destroyed. <laughs> you sent me Untitled Goose Game. Of course. Um, what else was there? Oh yeah, this Bowser plush. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and I think I think I still think one of the funnier ones was when you you sent me Dragon Quest Eleven S. <laughs> oh yeah, because um, what what because one of your other friends gave you a digital code for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah, now you have the game <laughs> twice. What? 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 Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, he sent you a he sent you a download code for it. Yeah. Yeah. And like a little bit later, Harry gave you the physical. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh uh, yeah, I remember this now. We there was a whole whole ordeal, ordeal about that, and we did. It's like, I, the hell are we gonna do? It worked out because like um, I, it was better on physical when it was had saved space on my switch. Also, crash one enemies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those camera things. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, um, how much cra How many crash games have you played, Xavier? Um, I've played, um, I've, I've played Zero to Null 1, 2, and 3, I've played, um, I have the Insane Trilogy, Crash 4, um, I also have, I have Wrath of Cortex, I've, I, like, I actually played Crash Purple when I was a kid. Oh god. I can imagine um, that was a lot of fun. I play um, most of them at this point. And I, like, um, oh yeah, and I also have, um, I, I have, um, Crash Tag Team Racing. And yeah. I, don't, I think I, I think I have a natural card, but I'm not. Like, actually, wait, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I have natural card because, like, I have. I do. I do have CTR natural fuels. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, have natural, yeah, I don't have natural card. Outside of um, I mean, I, don't, I guess there's some still some reason to play nitro card for like, because I, I, the uh, anti gravity stuff and then um, the t oh, yeah. adventure mode, but for the most part, I think. You can just skip it because Nitro Fuel just has all the stages. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it has the stages, but it didn't bring in that game's story mode to justify why the lights there. I don't understand that, really. Well, it yeah. just, it, I guess the only part, because it, it's mostly just supposed to be CTR, I guess, more than Nitro yeah. Fuel. Yeah I, <laughs> yeah, I feel like it would be nice, like, DLC or something, though. Hey, maybe. Uh, at least, we, at least we got a shit ton of new, of, of new tracks. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, How did I live? We take, we take, we take those. <laughs> okay, I thought I died. Blame. Blame. Huh? We don't get blamed. We take those. <laughs> oh, I see the. I was gonna say, I see, I see what you did there. Yeah. There's a lot um, of like just this chain of reaction stuff. I don't think I've played any Crash game beyond uh, for a while. Uh, I think the last one I played was CTR. CTTR. <laughs> oh, Taxi Racing. This, this, yeah. cut, this cut seems great. 
was one of the best gags. Years have kind of been slow. Rats oh. Cortex didn't do as well as we'd hoped, and... <laughs> ah, he said the thing! <laughs> he said it! He said the thing! Wait, wait. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Faces. Best gag in the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I play. I played most of the crash games at this point. The only ones I've, I think that the only ones I haven't played are like the Crash and Spyro crossovers, uh, and, like, Nitro Kart and Tag Team Racing? Never, never GBA game. I haven't played, I, ever, I haven't played any of the GBA games. Oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't played the those either. The first two are good. And I can, I also haven't played any, I also haven't played, um, Crash of the Titans or Mind of the Mutants either. Yeah. I haven't like, played I, 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 uh, I know, like, I, I, I know that Crash of the Titans on DS is actually pretty solid. Yeah, I, I, I remember I enjoyed, I enjoyed, huh? I was like, and dude's video, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And dude's video. I enjoyed um, Crash of the Titans a lot more on my second run. I, I will say that much. If you, I think if you see it more, more as its own thing, it's, it's more. I think it's more fine. Um, but uh, uh here I am. Bad tag team. Um, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's an interesting looking game, I'll say that much. It's like, not I, terrible, I, but it's but compared to um compared to the ever racing games, it definitely doesn't hold a candle. <laughs> yeah, because like uh, the um was it Nitro Kart is already like basically team racing, but with less um precise controls or whatever, from, from what I understand. And then Tag Team is, like, barely even a racing game. Good. Ah. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is just Harry's thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, I, I, I remember when um, uh, Tag Team Racing was, was new when I was a kid. Um, like, I'm, like, I, I convinced, like, I, I told my dad that, like, hey, can we rent this from Blockbuster? So we went to a Blockbuster, got the game, but then my dad had to do something real quick while waiting in the car. So I decided to open the game, found that it wasn't Crash Tag Team Racing. It was, like, some, it was just, like, some NBA game. So once we turned it, a different game, and we ended, up, we ended up getting an digital game instead and played that at the weekend. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's, the same, oh that's the same, oh, that's the very similar story I had with, um, uh, when, when I got by. Okay. For me, what happened was, um, I went, I went to a GameStop, and they had, um, the Dream Collection. Oh. Right? Yeah. I went to buy it, and when, I, oh. uh, when we got the car, I looked in the case, and for some reason it was Rainbow Curse. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So I went back inside, oh. and I told him about that, and told me, oh, it turns out we don't have one. Hey, we actually don't have it. I'm very sorry. And so instead, they let me get basically whatever Kirby game I wanted. <laughs> huh. That kind of reminds me of when you were trying- well, I got Robobot, and I feel like I- Well, I don't know if I got a better deal, but at least I got a- like, At least I got a new game out of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, honestly, because, like, Dream Collection is honestly just a- is a- is a compilation title. A good compilation title, for sure, but... You honestly got the better deal with Robobot, to be honest. Right. <laughs> well, if you've- uh, Um, it's been, if, if you've already um, played the games on Dream Collection as well. Yeah. <clears throat> and, like, well, and, like, like, I like- well, I haven't played Dreamland 2 yet. Mm. And I need, I need an excuse. It's uh, I still ha haven't played any of the Dream uh, Dreamland games. Remi remind me, it's uh, remind me exactly which games are on it again, Xavier. Dreamland One, Dreamland Two, Kirby's Adventure, oh, dude. Adventure Kirby Superstar, Dreamland Three, and Kirby Sixty Four. The only game on there I haven't played is Dreamland Two. <laughs> uh, I let me see Dreamland. Oh yeah, like, oh, yeah, and there's also like and I'll, there's also like new challenge new. Return the Dreamlands challenge mode stages, and you could you could watch like um, a few oh, episodes wait. of the uh, right back at you. You gotta sp you gotta spin pro. No, I think I need to hit this. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. I haven't played a lot of the games on that collection. I think what is it? Is it like Dreamland One, Two, Three, Sixty Four, Superstar, and Adventure. Okay, yeah. The ones yeah, I I've played Adventure and Superstar now, but I haven't played One, Two, Three, or Sixty Four. Well, okay, kind of. Okay, um, so they never released uh, Dream Collection in Europe. 
um, which... Oh, yeah, yeah, you had to emulate uh, it. Yeah, and uh, I've uh, uh, stated how annoyed I've been at that for years now. But, so I tried emulating it on Dolphin, I think. Um, but what happened is that like, I, w I went through like half of Dreamland 1, um, and then I paused at one point. But then, because I, I hadn't like set up like the Wii Remote controls or anything properly, I was basically just stuck on the Wii menu and I couldn't get out. So that was uh, <laughs> so that was my experience with that game. It reminds me of when I played the Ape Escape demo. I didn't have a Dual Shock. <laughs> <laughs> I just stood there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like. I mean, oh, like no! 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 At a very least, like for Dreamland One's case, like if, if you know what you're doing, you could beat the game in like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that like the uh, uh, super difficult mode is like kind of rough, but. Um, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, extra game mode. It, yeah, it, it it it's a bit rough, but it definitely offers more of a challenge. Right. And then there's the one in Kirby's Adventure, which is just like, eh. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's just kind of bored. Just kind of mad, cause like it's just the same game, but just you have less health, isn't it? Yeah, you, your your health your health is cut in half, and you essentially have to do it all in one run. You have to just keep the NES up running all all the time. Yeah, screw that. Yeah, I was... <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I was talking to Rob. And he told me about, and he said like, there is a challenge you can do if you hate all life as you know it. Kingdom Hearts one. He goes, so do you say it. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? And I said, he's not even in the game. And then he goes, seduce Ansem? I know that's more viable. What? <laughs> what the hell? And then he sent me a, and then he sent me a picture. I gotta, I, I'll just DM it to you, Harry. Okay. I'd rather not put this in the chat. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Aku Aku. I mean, Uka Uka. Yeah. I got the map. Got the mask. I totally know my crash characters. I swear. <laughs> oh, you mentioned you mentioned the Crash of the Titans on DS a while ago. I that's one that's one crash game that I would like to try at some point as well. Because like because I know that like um crap I don't. Know, a Crash of the Titans on DS plays more like a like a traditional Crash Bandicoot game. Yeah, in in some ways, anyway. Who oh, knows? Okay. Yes. <laughs> It, like it's, it's honestly, it's still honestly amazing that the entire that the entire soundtrack for this game is a cappella. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Like I I I I honestly I honestly want to want to see what the meeting for what what the meeting that for like deciding how this how the music direction for this game should go. Oh, I need to turn off this switch. Yeah. So this is like completely different from like any other Crash soundtrack. It's like, yeah. And they, I mean, they did it again for Tag Team, didn't they? But like, did they? Sort of. Hmm. Not, not all of it. A good number, yeah. a good amount of. <laughs> I don't. That soundtrack doesn't. I don't hear people talk about that soundtrack, really. Yeah, this fight is not much. Yeah, either the fight- the bosses in this game are either really good or just kind of there. Yay! <laughs> okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is- I, I definitely say this is one of the better post Naughty Dog Crash games. You know, you know, now I'm just imagining the meeting for like deciding the soundtrack, where it's like um they're just in the okay. office and they're like, oh oh jeez, uh, <laughs> and like and they just like um I, like they I just... landed in mid air. I landed. He landed on mid air. How did he do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, clearly. Oh yeah, I can just imagine like yeah, what's going. The meeting was going something like like they just overhear someone listening to acapella music on the side, and it's like that's it. That's what we're gonna go for. Just listening to like smooth McGroove. Yeah, like you get like it's like like you someone gets someone gets spiral mouth on the phone. Yeah, It's like someone gets spiral mouth on the phone because like like spiral mouth is the acapella group that did the music. Yeah. Really when did awesome. when did Smooth the Groove actually start doing things? Um, way after, I'm pretty sure it was way after this game. Let Probably, me... yeah, because like usually. Considering, considering this is twenty, this game, considering this game is about twenty, is about to hit twenty in a few years. Yeah, yeah YouTube yeah, itself. Yeah, YouTube itself was like, was it two thousand five? Uh yeah, Sounds I don't like These lives are evil. You don't need them. You don't need them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, of course, am I? Has, of course he has a Wikipedia page. That's how well he's been done. He doesn't really do much anymore. For my not really. Like, um. Well. Yeah. Um. He he started. In, he apparently he started in 2012. Ah. Okay. Basically, where a lot of people got got stuck, got going. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like 2009 uh, ish was like when people started actually using YouTube more, and then like, yeah. And then like Slowly. early 2012, early 2010s is when they kind of, they kind of just got, got start. their, got their start, really. Yeah, when, when things started to take off. We must make for... it's... Hey yo, the pizza here! <laughs> <laughs> Trick -a -trick, Trick -a oh, how, Halloween's a week away! <laughs> But for me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah, I, w I wish they, like, the twins actually had enough, like, screen time to fully develop them, because I, I really like them as characters, but, like, the game itself just doesn't give them enough to work with. Like, I, I remember, like, um, apparently, like, um, there, there was a lot of unused content for this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of unused content for this game. That probably would have, probably definitely would have helped if we got more screen time of these. With with these two, but it'll probably yeah. be cut to make to, to basically meet a release date. Yeah, because in terms of shit, like the sheer concept of them, they're probably one of my favorite Crash villains. It's just that like they, yeah, they just don't they don't really do much. They have fun designs as well. I'm honestly surprised that they are not in in um, CTO Nitro Fuel. Yeah, I don't get that. Sorry, I'm, I'm messaging Rob. <laughs> At least they get a cameo in Cra in uh, Crash Four, like I guess. Yeah. Larry Blink and you miss it, but. I'm telling Rob, it's like, for reference, you pretty much only have dodge roll, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever, um, 
whatever limits you get, and and that's it. <laughs> well, yeah, and your magic. Yeah. Don't tell me he's considering this. No, he's asking about it. Well, that tells me that he's considering it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... It's very easy to get uh, turn turned around in this game and end up doing, like, the same area twice. So, let's uh, not do that. Uh, okay, no. I'm leaving out the dam- I'm leaving out the damage storage, because I think that'll make it less appealing. <laughs> yeah! Wait, what the heck? I do- I do it for his own safety. Yeah. If I told him about that, he actually be like, hmm. God. You know? I think I went the wrong way. The heck? What? We're here. Oh, okay. I, I feel like I just went in circles. Uh, well, we take those. Somewhere between the ninth and eleventh dimensions lies the mysterious tenth dimension, and there we must go in order to confront the evil twins, steal the riches, and restore the natural order of things with neon power. We require six power crystals in order to make the leap, and we have oh, I love you. four. <laughs> Let's see. That isn't enough. All is lost. <laughs> what if we just use the gems we have? Yeah, why not we just do that? Because like they, they, the the gems have been established to have like their own kind of power source. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> God. Okay, I think we're getting up to um. Ice skating on Cortex in a second? Or snowboarding, rather. Ice skating, what am I talking about? Sorry. The main thing is we're hitting an end in the battle step. Yeah, uh, this is um, a really infamous part of the game. <laughs> oh, I, right, I'm, reading, I'm reading the TV show thing on the... On, on Twin Sanity and looking at the trivia thing. Oh, and yeah. of course it's gonna it's of course gonna mention like the the stuff that had the behind the scenes stuff involved in the development. Yeah. For instance, tr troubled production. And yeah, how? Yeah, we're that Like yeah. and how deadlines not being met, scrapped concepts, the pressure of Universal meeting the game out, and too many ambitious ideas led to about a third of the game's original ideas being cut. Yeah. I, before you move on, one thing I, I want to bring up is, uh, from what I remember hearing, the the name Crash to Insanity was literally last minute. Like, if, if oh, they, really? yeah, <laughs> they, they literally um, were, like, on a deadline, and they basically got the title in, like, the literal last minute. Otherwise, it was going to be called something else that I don't remember the name of right now. Oh, hang on, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's thinking. <laughs> Crash now. <laughs> oh god. Whee. Yeah, this is a fun sequence. Again, it's like this game uh, has like quote unquote vehicle segments, but it like does them in a way where it feels like they're... It, it's less so... Yeah, it's less so X level, you're riding like a tiger or you're, you're underwater or whatever. It's more intertwined with the actual story, which makes it a lot more fun in my opinion. So... In case you can't tell, in case you can't tell Xavier, we're not going for everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting all the crystals along the way. I'm not trying to get 100%. Alright. But yeah, uh, continue with the... Uh, one and done. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um, with the, with the, um, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. It's like um, the final product, while regarded as a good game in recent years, shows the lamented development cycle in many areas. However, the Traveler's Tale developers have been kind enough over the years to explain and show off various parts of the game that got cut, even supplying cut voice dialogue and storyboards. 
all of which can be found online. Yep. And then what? And then what could have been? The very earliest pitch for Traveler's Tales, a second game, instead of was instead of, was instead a team premise for Crash and Coco, with mechanics involving controlling the two characters and Crash similar to Karen throwing Coco as much as he does Cortex in the final game. In early stages of the development, the game was meant to have a darker, edgier sci-fi theme rather than a comedic theme with the story of the evil twins taking chunks of the planet, chunks of planets, to form an even bigger planet, with Crash its own being one of them. This idea was scrapped. <laughs> they may really make that sound painful. <laughs> yeah. But it says like this idea was scrapped because of a sim because a similar story was used in another game. So they had to go in the op so they had to go in the opposite direction and the rest is history. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah I was using Ratchet and Clank, and I'm pretty sure Traveler's Tale was like, "Well, shit, what do we do now?" Oh. I think. Uh, speaking of Ratchet and Clank, I, y the um, mascot for uh, Traveler's Tales apparently was gonna have its own game, but um, it got canned because uh, either that or like they changed the main character because it looked too much like Ratchet, so they just didn't they didn't want to get sued or something. Oh. Oh, I know this guy. <laughs> Mother? <laughs> oh, damn it, I tried to jump. I think there's a gem in there. Mother? No. <laughs> I don't know. Why did I say it? Yeah. The game was also going to have RPG elements, but the idea was scrapped. Mm. There was also con there was a concept art from this point of the... From this bonus development of two levels set in a gaudy inspired greenhouse and an ocean up on the floor of a dried up ocean. Yeah. And then collecting yellow gems unlocks unseen extras, which are apparently feature ideas and concepts that never get into the final option. This was lashed by Cortex once. We were going to visit two dimensions, but we ran out of time. Yeah. Like, I'm just not gonna bother. And it's like several hours worth of content was removed from the game, including several returning characters. No! Gameplay mechanics that were more combat-based, similar to the later games, mini games, and cla based on classic games, a villain song for Cortex entitled Take a Walk Inside My Dreams. Two members of the development team, Keith Webb and Paul Gardner, released the great deal a great deal of information on these view items. Oh, which can, oh my god. On these, view items, which, on these battles, which can be viewed online. And then at least two direct sequels were also planned but never made it past early planning due okay. to Traveler's Tales' Oxford unit shutting down. One of the ideas was a Pikmin classic Mega Man type game starring Cortex called Cortex Chaos or the all new Cortex Show. <laughs> the studio was working on early points of Crash Tech Team Racing, it was also intended to be a direct follow up on Twin Sanity with the other characters following Cortex into Crash's brain. Oh! Oh, like, like, also, that's why the game never got a GameCube port. It said there were plans for a GameCube port, but due to difficulties with reporting, reporting the engine, it was scrapped. Similar I mean, issues, yeah. Similar issues plagued the GameCube port of the last game. Oh. Wait, the last oh, game. Oh, Rafa Cortex. Oh, Rafa Cortex. Yeah, I've heard that the GameCube version of Rafa Cortex has a lot of weird bugs in it. Like, the uh, textures aren't, like, correct. What? No. They, they, they're kind of. I've heard that it's just a bit weird. Compared to the other versions, so like I mean I know the PS2 version has long load times. I mean except unless you're playing the Greatest Hits re-release. Yeah. So like so so apparently I guess like the Xbox oh. version is the best version of of Wrath Cortex. Probably I. Well yeah we yeah. <laughs> we said this a few times but like it would be really nice if they just re-released these these games to modern consoles because not exactly easy to find these games nowadays. Yeah. I mean, like, either re-release them or just remake them and include, like, the, the content that was going to be cut. I... I've gotten one gem in this whole level. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, working... Here, all right, here we go. Working title. When the game had a more serious tone, it had the name Evolution. Crash Evolution. There were many other names given for it, such as Unlimited, Fully, fully Fluxed, and A Whole Another Dimension. Until the publisher, out of frustration, gave the team one hour to come up with the final name, and it came up with the final name with five minutes to spare. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Also, uh, nice uh, phallic um, uh, sculpture here. Yep. What is this, rare? <laughs> yeah! There's another one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's unintentional, but like, that's really yeah. funny. 
And like it honestly reminds me of like just like one bit in a in a level in Kirby's Dreamlands two, yeah. where like there's a bunch of where or or it's like a, it's like a really long it's like a really long vertical segment where you're just where you're just going down and there's a bunch of um uh, there's a bunch of star blocks in the shape of a naked woman. <laughs> Also, uh, you see these uh, sharks in, in the ice here? Um, th I think those are actually leftovers from a cut, like, water level that was supposed to be in the game. I, I, I believe it. Yeah, there's like a billion cut levels. Like, I know there's one where you went inside Coco's mind or something. Like, it's all... you, you can make like, a, a, a full game with, like, the cut levels in this. Cause like, like the like, like that thing said earlier, it's like, it's like, two thirds of the game got cut. So yeah, it's like, yeah, this game was gonna be a lot longer. I don't know, I don't know if we'll ever, like, and like get to see like, the full extent of what this game was supposed to be. <laughs> Like, I would love a like a like a re like a remake that just has everything, but I don't. I feel like at this point, that um, good. Uh, I I don't think that's gonna happen. I feel like they're kind of just moving on with the series at this point. What you mean? I guess it's. I guess it's fair. Wait, what? I don't remain quiet. I'm just like I'm listening. I'm enjoying the conversation. I see. Yeah, no, I, I I would like to at least see elements of like the cut content though in like future games. Do you remember what po at what point did you uh, like you stopped, uh, Jason? I think it was here actually. Hmm. I found like I, I I found I found the image I was talking about the, the, from the Kirby Dreamland one. I'll just DM it to you. DM it to me too. I gotta see this. All right. Well, what, uh, is, what is this now? Naked woman. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like a bunch of star, star blocks that make up a that, that make up a naked woman. So we're just we're Kong just one. just playing Donkey Kong now. Oh yeah. Alright. Someone stick to one. Ugh. Alright, uh, Harry, I DM'd it to you as well. Okay. Okay. Just run through. So what I was like, this is supposed to be Engine's lab, I guess. Yeah, this is it, like his battleship. I do like how they made the the gems like more of a. Um, hi. Uh, collectible you just find throughout the level. Cause I, I definitely don't don't think the standard method of finding the gems would have worked in this game. Yeah, probably. Oh god. You want to turn the camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, this part can be a little bit tricky with all these uh, jumps and whatnot. Yeah, I feel like the camera makes it unnecessarily harder than it has to than, than it has to be. Yeah. And you don't have uh, drop shadows on boxes. Oh, fun. So that doesn't help. Ugh. Okay. Alright, cool. 
So you said the yellow drones were the ones that had like the previews of cut good cut content. Uh yeah, that, according to the TV show it's being real. Yeah. Okay. That was not a good idea. Yeah, the the jumps don't send you that that far in this game compared to like other, some of the other games. Like even with the double jump. Like yeah, it says yeah, it says like coll collecting the yellow gems is what unlo unlocks the cut un unlocks basically c cut contents. Mhm. Mm yeah. I know there was like a they had like um some sections planned with with uh, Cortex's uh like jet board thing or whatever like that, that would have been really cool is Jason there no he oh he he um he he definitely suffered that way. I see oh well Okay. I'm honestly surprised they never like um considered doing another another crash game like Twin Sanity. Yeah, um I would like to see see like another game in this kind of like style, like just more open world kind of set. It's what we call in the business. It's what we in the business call playing it safe. Yeah, I can Well I mean yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say like this series played it safe after this, but um, because like what what, yeah. what whatever they did after like um Crash of the Titans and Mind of a Mutant certainly wasn't playing it safe. It was not playing at all as <laughs> to what that was. Yeah. I want to get that. I I'm pretty sure like at that point they were just throwing whatever they could at the wall to see what worked. Yeah, I mean, there were, there were a bunch of, like, cancelled projects. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess, to be fair, uh, Mind Over Mutant is probably, it's, like, the closest you're going to get to another Twin Sanity, because it's, um, it does do the, like, the open world setting, um, and, uh, no, I think, I think that game does it fairly well. It's not perfect, but... Hey, good, we got all our crystals. Yeah. That's good, at least. Yep. So, uh, yeah, this, uh... The game acts like this is a boss, but it kind of just isn't. <laughs> I don't know why the music for this is, is really silly. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't fit the fight at all. Yeah. It's just awkwardly <laughs> for, for... This, bo this boss just feels very jank. Just with the animations. No, no, I had to just stand there like I just regret everything I've done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you just run into a circle until he like throws the TNT at you. It's like, yeah. This is literally the Dingo Dial fight from Crash Three. Well, uh, I mean, I more, more or less. <laughs> well, well, the well, the, ding, the, the Dingo Dial fight if you if you could win by just holding right. Yeah. The more I look at Crash running in this game, it's like, man, he this this guy got places to be. Yeah, like he he he's like really hoofing it. <laughs> yeah. And and now we have uh, one of the most infamous sections in the game. No, night. I, I thought it was one more fight. No, well, no. Well, there's another fight, but it's after this. <laughs> 